donut. It's not just a delicious treat, it's also a cryptocurrency for the ETH Trader subreddit, and that's what we're gonna get into today. Before we begin, I'm just here to help you make uh, more educated decisions. I don't care if you buy it or not, it just helps you understand different tokens and maybe other potential opportunities. When investing in crypto, you need to make your own decisions and have enough information to make those decisions. And before we begin, I am invested in donuts and am staking as a liquidity provider, so I do have something at stake for sharing this video, but that's why you should always do your own research and create your own opinions before making any type of investment. So with that out of the way, let's figure out what are donuts, how do you earn them, and what will cause the price to go up or down. And if at any point during the video you happen to like the content, uh, hitting the like button would be appreciated. What are donuts, also known as decentralized ownership network utility tokens? That doesn't mean anything, but to break it down for you, Donuts are Reddit community points, and Reddit community points are cryptocurrencies you can earn for participating in certain subreddits. Now, more Reddit community points might launch in the near future, but at the moment there are only three available, and that is Moon, which are the Reddit community points for the cryptocurrency subreddit. Then there's Brick for Fortnite Battle Royale, and then there's Donut for ETH Trader. So if you participate in these communities and create good content by posting or commenting, then you could potentially earn cryptocurrency for free. And for a little history, the donut community has been around since 2017, the token has been around since 2018, and on the technical side of things, the donut token exists on Ethereum and Gnosis. Gnosis is used as a sidechain for lower fees, and that's where the distributions happen, that's where the tipping happens. Basically anything you want to do on the cheap without having to pay fees on Ethereum. And jumping into the differences, on Gnosis, that's where you see the distributions, that's where you see the tips, and you can also earn liquidity provider rewards. There is a certain allotment for people who are providing liquidity on Gnosis, and for people providing liquidity on Uniswap. Depending on which one you participate in, you might get a different interest rate, which we'll jump into a little later in this video. So stick around, because I'm going to show you how to earn these tokens and the other potentials. Yada yada yada, something, cryptocurrency, gotta trick people to stick around and watch the entire video. And since all the tokens are being created on the Gnosis blockchain, how are they on Ethereum or Ethereum to Gnosis? Well, you'd have to use a bridge. Through Gnosis's jumper exchange, you can move assets from Gnosis to Ethereum or vice versa. Now, it really depends on how much you're moving and if it's worth it for those costs. And sometimes it just makes sense not to move it at all. Now, as for having your donuts on Ethereum, there are some benefits to that. If you are in the ETH Trader subreddit and you're commenting on there, people are going to see your balance that you have on Ethereum with the wallet that you've connected to the ETH Trader subreddit. So it works a little differently than other Reddit community points. You need a wallet, you need MetaMask, and you need to connect it to the subreddit. Additionally, if you want to buy a special membership to the ETH Trader community, then you would have to pay that in Donut. At current prices, it costs 200 donut, which is about 4 US dollars per month, plus the Ethereum network gas fees that you have to pay, which might be around 2 to 3 dollars. So it might make more sense to buy a lot if you wanted that special membership. And the other use for the token is to buy the subreddit banner, which can come at a very high cost but you are advertising to a community of crypto investors, traders, and people that are interested in it. Now, any moons that are used to buy special memberships or for buying the banner, those get burned. So it's good to see a lot of people buy those memberships. It's good to see more burning, just so it limits the inflationariness of the token, because the token is inflationary. More tokens are entering the ecosystem than are being burned. 
Now, as for Reddit community points, the other competitors are the cryptocurrency subreddit and Fortnite Battle Royale. Let's stack those up against each other. You can see the community size differences. ETH Trader at 2.3 million, Fortnite Battle Royale at 2.9 million, and cryptocurrency at 6.7 million. Then we have active users, we have market cap, and we have if the token is listed on Kraken. Now I found Donut just because I was browsing CoinGecko and CoinGecko has a listing for Reddit community points. So through that website, you can see the other coins that are currently listed and where to trade them. Now I've personally been following the Reddit side of cryptocurrency and Web3 and their NFTs. And I was around when I saw the price shoot up for both Brick and Moon because they got listed on Kraken. So that creates a lot of potential for the price to go up for Donut because that has not been listed by Kraken. But there is no guarantee that will ever happen. And if we see more communities on Reddit get community points, which enables rewards in cryptocurrency, then that could dilute the value of all Reddit communities out there. And then we might not see a similar pump. So it's all very speculative and you want to do your research and form your own opinions and consider the possibilities before making an investment. Tokenomics. So now that we know a little bit about what is the donut token and how it works and what you can use it for, let's talk about the tokenomics. You can find the total supply of donut tokens listed on the ETH Trader subreddit on the right side. As of the making of this video, there are about 213 million donut tokens out there. Now, every four weeks, there's a donut token distribution, and that's 2.3 million donuts that just enter the ecosystem. And if we look at that annually, that is 27.6 million donuts per year. And this year, that gives it an inflation rate of about 12.6%. This isn't including any burns, because I actually don't know how much they burned. And next year, it will be 11.25%. And that number will gradually go down as the supply increases and the amount of distributions remains consistent. And that's another thing that could bring the token price down. If there's no one buying the token and more inflation happens, then all token holders get diluted. Now to create demand for the donut token, there is advertising available with the ETH Trader subreddit. That's by buying the subreddit banner and for buying special memberships. Anytime you buy the banner or a special membership, those tokens get burned. Now there isn't enough of that burning happening and I hope to see improvements in the future, but that's just what it is right now. As for token distributions, where are these tokens going? So they're mostly going to posts, comments, bonus to posts by receiving tips. So if your uh, post gets tips, that means people really enjoyed it. And then there is a bonus allocated to that amount, community treasury funds, donut tipping and content curation. That means you are actually incentivized to tip people. Then there's Uniswap liquidity incentives, Honeyswap liquidity incentives, and moderations. And if you want to donate tokens, there's two ways to do that. One, be a part of the community, create good content. There are requirements to that, of course. And two, just buying the token. You can buy the token on a decentralized exchange because it has not yet been listed on a centralized exchange. Now, once again, on CoinGecko, if you look in the markets page, that's going to show you where the coin is trading. How to earn free cryptocurrency from Reddit. So I'm going to show you how to earn donut tokens for free. One, create a Reddit account. Two, earn karma. Make sure there's some age to it as well. Three, join the ETH Trader subreddit. Four, register your accounts in the bottom right. That means you need a MetaMask account. You need a wallet. You do need an intermediate knowledge of crypto wallets, setting it up and having a MetaMask, especially when compared to the other Reddit community point systems that kind of do it for you, like Moons. So you would need a little bit of experience, which is good because you need to build that up anyway. And it is a little harder to post in this community because there are filters in place to prevent spammers and scammers. And those are, if you want to comment, 
you need at least 50 Comet Karma in your account, and your account age has to be at least 30 days. If you want to post something, you need at least 100 Comet Karma with an account age of at least 60 days. And you are limited to one post every 30 minutes. As we went over in the token distributions, you can earn donut tokens for posting stuff, commenting, tipping, but you can also earn tokens for providing liquidity. Now, this is a more intermediate level of DeFi knowledge as well, because you're going to have to use a decentralized exchange. You're going to have to trade for both the donut token and ETH, and then you're going to have to provide liquidity. And then you have to stake your donut liquidity provider tokens to the donut dashboard. That's donut dash dashboard.com and these links are available in the ETH Trader subreddit. Now the liquidity provider rewards are pretty generous because at the time of making this video if you provide liquidity provider tokens and you stake them and you stake them at the donut dashboard on Ethereum at the moment I'm getting about 73% and on Gnosis I'm getting about 48%. Now this sounds awesome and it sounds like it's easy money right but no it does come at a cost obviously you're at risk of the price going up or down and if the price moves up too much or down depending on either of the tokens then you could suffer impermanent loss now from this reddit post someone was angry because they lost a lot of potential earnings because they were a liquidity provider now, when you are a liquidity provider, you are providing two tokens to a pool where people can trade from it. That pool always wants to keep a 50-50 balance between both tokens. So if the price of one changes, it's going to sell one to buy the other to maintain that 50% balance. So the ideal situation for being a liquidity provider is to make sure the price doesn't change too much, at least for both tokens, because let's say ETH goes up 100%, Donut goes up 100%, this happens at the same time, then you're not going to suffer from impermanent loss. But if one of the tokens goes up 100%, then you're, you're, you would have done better just holding rather than providing liquidity. So it depends on the time frame, it depends on um, certain conditions, but providing liquidity is great long term if everything goes sideways if uh, something goes up or down too drastically and immediately then you're gonna suffer from impermanent loss so please understand those risks before participating i hope that made sense uh it it does take a lot of experience but always start with small amounts you're comfortable with and learn the ropes before uh, jumping fully head-on into DeFi so you're not caught off guard when something doesn't go your way. How much are people making from posting on Reddit in the ETH Trader subreddit? So this is just to give you some perspective and maybe some dreams and help you build up this community because uh, I'm invested in it and I, I like investments when they go up. So here's how it is. We can see that the top person earned 100,000 donuts for posts and comments that the community liked. Now if donuts are trading at two cents, that's $2,000 per month. That is that's a that's a pretty good living depending on where you are in the world additionally the top earner paid 2500 donuts to post in the subreddits so there are fees for posting and that gets deducted from their monthly distribution so if you were going to get a hundred thousand donuts you get minus 2500 from that because they roll in the fees this posting fee helps reduce the spam in the community. So again, you don't have to pay anything to post something on the subreddit. That fee is just taken from what you would have earned. Donut token price, up or down? Let's talk about this price prediction, but I'm not actually gonna try and predict the price. I'm just gonna explain what it's gonna take for the price to go up or for the price to go down. Because when it comes to crypto, prices can be unpredictable so we're just going to look at what will actually move the price up or down starting with down because we're all used to that in a bear market what will drop the price of the donut token is 
that there's too much of it. It's inflationary as a lot of people can get the token and there aren't a lot of tokens being burned. Then the price will gradually go down as too many tokens are out there diluting all existing token holders. So for the token price to sustain a steady level, it's going to need more token burns with more advertising or more use cases where it offsets all the emissions. Now to just simplify that even further, basically lots of tokens are being made, not enough tokens are being burned, anyone holding a token is getting diluted over time. Additionally, with Reddit community points, we might see more communities or subreddits in Reddit get tokens. And if all the communities on Reddit get a cryptocurrency, that's gonna dilute all Reddit cryptocurrencies. So this could dilute the value of all existing subreddits. That's the cryptocurrency moon, that's the Fortnite Battle Royale brick, and that's the ETH trader donut token. So if Reddit one day decides everyone gets community points, then it's not gonna look good for the token price of donut. Now, what will it take for the donut price to go up? Well, that is just more attention to the coin. That is people buying it. That could be cryptocurrency exchanges listing the coin. So we saw a large pump in other tokens like Brick and Moon when those Reddit community point tokens got listed on Kraken. So potentially, Donut could benefit from a similar scenario, but that could be short-lived as other factors could continue to dilute the token. Now we might also see some initiatives from the ETH trader group to create more burns, to create more use cases, and that could create more value for the Donut token. The subreddit is growing and that would also create more value in the subreddit. If that grows significantly, if there's a lot of users on there, if there's a lot more attention, that could create more value for the token as more people have the token and as more people want to advertise by buying the banner in the subreddit. There's definitely a lot of things to consider before making any type of investment. So that's why I tried to provide this information. If any of this video was helpful, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button, that helps me out. And with that, I hope you got your full value for today. It's okay.